I think that one of the things that was a barrier for me a lot longer than it needed to be, and I found that was like a common link between a lot of other women entrepreneurs, was the lack of confidence and financial literacy skills and knowing how to speak to a banker like a banker in a way that advocates for yourself so that it makes the, um, the underwriter's more decision a little bit easier. And not only that, but so that the banker that you're speaking to can actually understand your story and understand you know the finances of your company and be able to advocate for you as well. I think that you know what I had to do the hard way over the years was actually learn how to properly advocate for myself so the bank could advocate for me and to the underwriters and it took a while before like we did our first half a million dollars in revenue with a $1,000 credit card like that's how hard it was like that might sound impressive but you can also imagine how much of a logistical nightmare it was on the inside because it was such a so hard juggling money and I had to you know go to third-party lenders at 23% interest rates and like really high repayment terms and um, but that's how much I believed in my company and it, it was worth the sacrifice but it's not something that I would necessarily recommend to other you know women entrepreneurs I think uh, for females or women identifying entrepreneurs in general um, women inherently don't like to get into debt if they don't have to I think we avoid it uh, I don't know if, if that I particularly feel that deeply because I grew up in a single parent household and I've seen what the burden of debt can do and I watched my mom go through bankruptcy. Um, but I think like women in general um, try to avoid debt or try to avoid spending money that they don't have. And so when you do that, you're not taking out a credit card, let's say in your 20s when maybe you should uh, and so in my own personal case I didn't have a credit card in my 20s because I had one at 18 and then I was afraid of debt and I got all this high interest rates and I paid it off I'm like no more credit cards but I didn't realize that not having a credit card for six years had a huge impact on my credit health and it was a huge barrier for me to gain access to funding and capital from banks for example because my credit file was considered uh, very thin and I had no you know track record of being able to build effective credit so that was a huge barrier for me and I think that it's one that a lot of women face. When we talk about, you know, some of the challenges that women face versus men, for example, I think like that's a great example when you're you're going to a bank and you're trying to apply. Like banks are t are getting a lot better today at removing their uh, biases towards men and women, um, but they still have a lot of catching up to do. And I actually had a conversation with a woman at BDC who explained to me that in their application process, that's a bias that they're actually very aware of, and they've taken steps to ensure that women, when they apply versus men, their credit card. Uh, history is not as important as men because they recognize that you know the problem that I just explained they might not they might have been fearful of debt in the first place and never built up credit as a result from my like limited understanding of like the VC realm it seems like it's built a lot on relationships which is great uh, but there needs to be a lot more of this going out of your way to actually find people that are outside of your inner circle and um, it's bigger than diversity it's about intersectional diversity so investing in women from you know different age ra age ranges socioeconomic status and then of course you know based on um, their background perhaps or their nationality for example but it's much more bigger than um, you know just going to find women or women of color it's again that like intersectionality the importance of that is huge and I think that we all have a due diligence to uh, not take the easy route and really go out of our way to find these women um, who are navigating one of the biggest challenges that I find uniquely different between men and women is that confidence barrier and that's why again I think that we have that obligation to go out there find women um, be advocates of these women and say that we want to support you, we want to invest in you versus waiting for those relationships to come to you, if that makes sense.